Russian President Vladimir Putin has increasingly expressed anti-Israel positions, intensifying his defense of Iran's aggression towards Israel, according to the Institute for the Study of War, ISW. Analysts said that in recent days, several statements have been made in Russia regarding the Middle East conflict. Notably, the dictator's spokesperson, Dmitry Peskov, claimed that Israel carried out an airstrike, killing Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran, intending to derail attempts to establish peace in the Middle East. The Russian foreign ministry condemned the killing of the Hamas leader. While the ministry did not explicitly blame Israel, it asserted that the organizers of this political assassination were aware of the dangerous consequences Haniyeh's death could have for the entire region. Russia's decision to publicly blame Israel for destabilizing peace prospects in the Middle East and indirectly threaten Israel with dangerous consequences demonstrates Russia's increasing willingness to publicly align with Iran amid deepening Russian-Iranian military cooperation, the report says. ISW analysts also emphasized that Putin has increasingly expressed anti-Israel sentiments since the start of the Israel-Hamas conflict and has particularly intensified information operations aimed at justifying Iranian aggression against Israel. Iran is one of the few countries openly supporting Russia, including its war against Ukraine. Tehran also provides military assistance to Moscow. In the fall of 2022, Iran supplied the Russian army with Shahed Kamikaze drones, which Russia has used in massive attacks on Ukraine. There have also been reports that Iran plans to supply Russia with missiles. In return, according to media reports, Moscow has promised Tehran aircraft and more advanced weaponry. Western media has also reported that Iran seeks to obtain technology from Russia to develop nuclear weapons. Two people have been killed amid floods that wrecked havoc in Indian capital New Delhi. A 22-year-old woman and her three-year-old son drowned in a waterlogged drain after slipping near a construction site in Ghazipur, East Delhi. The bodies have been recovered and further legal action is being taken by Ghazipur, East Delhi police station, said the local police. Heavy rains have submerged parts of the city, causing heavy traffics and disrupting the work of the airport. Many people have been stranded due to traffic disruptions. The torrential rain has led to widespread waterlogging, turning roads into rivers. The Delhi police have advised commuters to avoid Mundka due to heavy waterlogging and potholes on Rotuk Road, urging the public to take alternative routes. In response to the severe weather, Delhi Education Minister Atishur announced the closure of all schools in the city on Thursday. In addition, Delhi Lieutenant Governor VK Saxena has cautioned all officers to remain alert, emphasizing the need to address waterlogging issues, particularly in vulnerable areas such as coaching centers. Thank you. 